Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. I like my car, 2016 Prius, utterly reliable, quiet, and the hatchback made it easy to load my keyboard for gigs. Well, earlier this year, two Prius owners on my block had their catalytic converters stolen. Both of them caught the thieves on their ring. It's a home camera. The scenarios were identical. In the middle of the night, two black muscle cars, one a Chevy Camaro, the other a Dodge Challenger, one guy stayed in the car, the other got out with a portable mini saw, and just one minute later, he pulled out the catalytic converter, threw it in the trunk, and they sped off. They were never caught. The Oakland police said they only respond to calls about crimes in progress. To prevent cat theft, they said spray it with high temperature orange paint so that some buyers of the catalytic converter that stolen wouldn't buy it, or better, but more expensive, have an anti-theft stainless steel catalytic converter shield installed. Well, the owners of the two Priuses then discovered that catalytic converter theft is so rampant in the Oakland-San Francisco area that there's a 6 to 12 month wait for catalytic converters, even though they cost over 2,000 bucks a pop. One of the owners then rented a car for the months, and the other bought a new car. Well, me? To avoid the 500 buck cost of the catalytic sh converter shield and the installation, and since I parked my car in my driveway, not on the street, I figured I would just buy the 25 buck high temperature paint. Alas, a month ago I got into my car and I heard roaring from underneath. I took it to the Toyota dealer, which said that someone had started cutting my catalytic converter. And on seeing it painted orange, they stopped. I asked, well, could it be welded together and closed? And he said, no, California law prohibits that and that I would have to get a new catalytic converter $2,200. And because of the epidemic of catalytic converter theft, I'd have to wait six to 12 months for one. He said that he has a customer who's been waiting for over a year. So I was forced to get a new car. As I said, I loved my Prius, and so I decided to get another one. Not so fast. There were almost no hybrid Toyotas of any sort available anywhere in Northern California, except for a black Prius, loaded with 2,000 bucks worth of crap that no one needs, like all-weather rubber floor mats instead of carpet, 279 bucks more. And the best price I could get was $2,000 over the MSRP, over the list price. Uh, I took it. It cost me over $41,000. My last one, it cost me only twenty two. my last Prius, plus the much higher insurance premium and a much higher car registration fee, $600 every year. All thanks to those miscreants who tried to steal my catalytic converter and the California laws that prohibited my having it repaired, welded, closed. But the costs and stress weren't over. Even though the temperature in March was just in the 40s and 50s, my car was an oven, in part because the only color Prius I could get was black, my least desired color, not just because of the heat, but because black is hard to keep clean and it's a color used by people trying to look cool, which you can, I think, guess is not necessarily my thing. So in addition to a color I didn't like for my $41,000, I had to spring for 700 bucks to tint my car. And despite having a PhD from Berkeley and not being tech phobic, I found the audio system very difficult to learn. Part of it is that they want you to subscribe to everything from music to nav, you know, navigation. In my previous Prius, you could just stick your CD in and have all the music you want, add hundreds of CDs. And the nav is free, lifetime, with lifetime updates. But with the new Prius, if I want to listen to the radio, I have to open the Toyota app. If I want to listen to other music or podcasts, I have to open the Apple CarPlay app. And there's lots of clicking involved, dangerous while driving. In short, the new audio system gave me hours of frustration to do less and with more difficulty and at more cost than I could have done for free on my old Prius, thanks to those thieves. Even the seatbelt alarm is more annoying. I often have to move my car no more than 50 feet, but unless you put the seatbelt on before you move an inch, it buzzes loudly, twice every second. And unlike my previous Prius, which allowed you to turn off the alarm, despite a diligent search through the manual and then on the internet, no way. Big Brother's got gotcha. you. I say all this to put a human face on the financial, time, and emotional cost that the increasing crime rate is causing us all. Efforts like defund the police and DAs refusing to prosecute crimes are contributory. And in determining fairness, groups complaining of victimhood need consider not only unfairness to them, but the ill that they perpetrate us on us all. Okay, um, uh, as usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. 
I wel uh, welcome your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nenko.